Hi, I'm Anthony at JJ Cookson. I'm going to be showing you around this 2008 signature and what main features come along with it. So the first thing we've got are the alloy wheels. You've got your rear tinted windows, as you can see there. From on the back, you get your rear parking sensors across the bottom of the bumper, which are very useful. I'm going to show you the boot size. As you can see it is a good boot size and it does also come with a flat bottom which makes it much easier for you to get things in and out of the boot which is good. I'm going to show you the interior design. Come on the front, and as you can see at the bottom, you do get your fog lights, which are very useful. I'm going to show you what features we have on the inside now. So the first thing you do get on the touch screen is you do have your digital radio, which is good because it means you'd be able to listen to a wider range of radio stations, and it does also come with Bluetooth. So if you wanted to listen to your own music, you do also have that option as well, which is good. If you press menu, as you can see there, you get your radio by pressing the top left button. It does say navigation underneath it, but it doesn't come with the car. To get navigation working, you need to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which is very easy to do. All you need to do is use the USB slot, which is found down here. Plug your phone cable into the USB slot, then plug your cable into your phone, which would then tether the main app you'd use while you're driving onto the screen here. So for example, Google Maps, which is what you would use as the sat-nav, whatever music app you use, so for example, Spotify, and also your phone book, so you can easily make phone calls. Got your heat controls here, as you can see. So you've got your temperatures on the right, your fan power in the middle, and on the left, you've got where you want your air to be blowing. As you can also see, you've got your air con there as well. So we've already mentioned the USB slot that it can be used for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it can also be used to charge your phone while you're driving, which is very good. And if you look on the left, you do have a 12 volt socket there as well. As you can see, you do have two drink holders and a bit of extra space there to put your phone or any other items as well. Thank you for watching. If you need any further information, give us a call or drop us an email.